Welcome to the Overwatch Oasis. Uh, this is Season 5, the Tier 2 Week 4. Um, and we're going to be seeing the Cosmic Dawn go up against the Valkyries this evening. I will be your color commentator, uh, Crypto. I will be joined by our play-by-play, -play, Uravity. Say hello, Uravity. Howdy, everybody. And our lovely Observer Blood will be in the background as well. Say hi, Blood. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So, this is going to be an interesting match. Um, last week, we saw, uh, last week that uh, these teams played, Valkyries had a bye week. Um, I technically, I guess it was a forfeit, but the team that they played is actually um, leaving the league, so it'll be become a bye week. And mm -hmm. then Cosmic Dawn had a large upset, I would argue, over um, one of the best t teams from T2 last season, Rogue Knights. So we're going to see uh, kind of an unknown quantity go up against a, a real up-and-coming team, and I'm pretty excited to see it, see what happens. Definitely. What I'm, e I'm excited to see Valkyries finally actually get some game time in. Um, I, I think they've been a pretty like highly anticipated team throughout the off season. People have been kind of talking up Valkyries and like the the Valhalla, those two teams specifically. Um, so I'm excited to see this team like their kind of debut in tier two. I guess sort of they're kind of just like a rebuild right now. But um, I'm also excited to see Cosmic Dawn play again and see if they can keep the momentum going. From like you were talking about, from the upset win against Rogue Knights, I think that'll be a lot of momentum for them moving forward. If they can get a win here against Valkyries, that's massive for their momentum going throughout the season too. I, I would tend to agree. Um, uh, Spooky Memes is, I think, coaching Valkyries' blood, uh, so he cannot be in here. Oof. Or he might be on Valkyries. I don't know. I can check the it's roster real quick. Do the quick roster check. But I agree. Um, if Co Cosmic Dawn come out of here swinging with two uh, with two wins beginning of the season, they're gonna they're gonna look uh, pretty respectable, I would say. Yeah, um, they'll definitely become a blip on a lot of radars if they win this match tonight. And on the other hand, uh, Valkyries as an org, um, I don't think they've dropped a map yet this season across either tier. So, you know, that's helped by the, the bye week <laughs> that they had. Um, but Spooky still, is like... not on Valkyries' roster, by the way. He's not? Is not. Spooky memes is not. He is on their, like, official roster. Like, he's part of the league, but he's not posted as, like, playable. That's the ticket. Right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. As the manager of trades and <laughs> approving such things, you know, I was like, I'm pretty sure he got... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I... They are on the roster. That is my bad. They did not delete their prior um, roster when they uploaded their new ones, so I Oop. accidentally saw the old one first. Um, Spooky Memes is on their roster. That roster was uploaded on the 27th of November. Hi, Flicker. Hi, Becca. How are you guys this evening? Um, Spectato Red. And who are we missing from the starting lineup? Oh, we don't have... No, we do. Uh, oh, Lake, Beagle. Oh, uh, Professor Oak, actually, for Beagle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Is Whack Pokey Madness. supposed to be spooky? Oh wait, no, uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I see Pokey. No, I think I, see, I think Pookie is actually yeah, in there. I'm actually kind of curious as to uh, what these teams will run on Ilio, since it's such a unique we... control map in the sense of you kind of get you can get three different play styles on it just because of the three different variants. Uh, well, it's interesting. Zuck is known for a heck of a ball. Mm -hmm. So I, I suspect we do see some ball activity, some ball activity. Um, Crossfire, we saw play tank last week, but exclusively Ryan, if I'm not, not mistaken. I believe so, yeah. So I, I, I'm assuming one of these assumptions will be wrong. <laughs> I, I mean, also... <laughs> yeah. Ryan ball on well seems like a not fun time. Playing Ryan on well, it's, unless your team is just <laughs> yeah full face check, you are. That is the epitome of Mr. Rectangle Man. Like, <laughs> there's no fun to be had. You're gonna no. stand there and you're gonna try and abuse um the fact that you have knockback resistance and a big old shield to stand yep. there while your team does things and then when they don't because they basically only have one tank <laughs> you, you jump in the well to reset <laughs> that's, that's your fun time <laughs> for a second I was about to be like wait, Zuck isn't eligible and then I remembered we're in tier 2 <laughs> <laughs> Well, just in this current competitive season, uh, Crossfire has put some, some time down on the Roadhog, so maybe that's your well option. Oh, we got to see a little hog and ball torture. Now arriving at <laughs> I would love to. I don't think I've gotten the chance to spectate somebody using a proper hog and ball torture comp in OO yet. Initiating. We're gonna get Lighthouse first. Okay, so we have a little bit of time. Actually, I Ready am imagine. behind. Yeah, there we go. I was watching the stream, not my own not my own feed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. That would have been that, silly. That's a good way to commentate uh, about ten seconds behind everything. <laughs> So we are, it does seem like we're immediately going to see the Ryan Sigma tank line come out of KD here. They're just going to run a pretty standard brawl with the exception of the Torbjorn. It's only a They're running double only. shotgun face check, Why do you which have to do I this? is where you might want to ride. The only place I am ready. Uh, Valkyrie's uh, composition is kind of all over the place, but Crossfire with an amazing charge coming in actually grabs Antipo, smushes them into the wall, and then just chucks two people out the door and over the cliff. And that's just a free team fight win. Press L1, was... L1 win a team fight. 
That was just sheer nuts. I got welcome to your play of the game. After this particular <laughs> match. <laughs> You never, you don't have to see the two piece in a biscuit Super Ninja. like that. Super Ninja teleported up onto the high ground there and just took a few pot shots. Huge, maybe? No, actually a decent block on the side of Bolak B, but uh, not gonna be enough, unfortunately. Crossfire was able to build a whole entire Earth Shatter because of just how crazy that charge was in the first fight. No, I didn't the even think about the Fuki. I didn't even think about how that, uh, like, old economy was going to be powered with him having basically a free, you know, a free second place yeah. shatter then. Now the unfortunately, economy... yeah, I was just say, unfortunately, when Crossfire gets all the kills, it means the rest of KD's kind of behind an ult charge. Antipo finding a really quick pick on the Super Ninja. That's a majority of their damage now gone. As well as the turret, so now there's really nothing to poke at them. As Death in the back, though, finding a counter pick, but that's probably going to be about it now that they're using all their ultimates on the points. Valkyries are going to get a retake here, but they did use a lot of their ultimates. They used um, Nano, they used Blade, they used Shatter. Um, they're probably just going to have their Rift Tire to try and hold this next fight. But they're they're gonna need a big rip tire to make that happen to stop this. What is that? Uh, 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 we we do some uh, 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 in with the big flux uh cool combo. That will fight pretty well. Well, oh, Antipo with their rip tire finding both the supports. It's just gonna be Antipo and two members of Cosmic Dawn, Zuckerbees and Ezdef. Pookie finds her way back onto the point of the Genji as that's trying to finish them off. The turret's doing a little bit of poke damage. Zuckerby's all alone now. Kind of hard to take that fight with the Genji is just Sigma. The rest of Cosmic Dawn are coming back, but that also means Valkyries are almost here. Pookie saw long well enough. Valkyries saw the point. And Crossfire goes off the map with Bravo. Super Ninja trying to burn through the shield of Bo, but it's not quite enough. And now the Death Blossom coming out from Super Ninja finds Ravioli Sing. Antipo managing to get the pick on the main heal for Cosmic Dawn, but it does look like Cosmic Dawn are stabilizing here, and they're going... They did actually... Uh, I missed the flip there. They it had the point in, again for a moment. It came in kind of late in that fight, but it, it's enough to really, like, put themselves in one fight uh, position. Like, yeah. If, if Valkyries don't win right here, they're, they're, they're pretty well toast. Cosmic Dawn has Shatter, they've got Beat, they have the tools they need to kind of close this fight out if they can. Good Shatter block, but it does find Ravioli, it doesn't get executed on though. And now the Dragon Blade comes out, but Beat's used to counter it. And now the Graviton Surge comes out, finding Mag Dragon in Crossfire, and a huge Fire Strike from Bo is going to take them both out. Super Ninjas on Reaper going to come back in to contest for a moment, but doesn't make it in time. To stop the flip from happening, just going to have to feed to get a reset going, and now this is... Pretty much last fight territory for this map. Zucker V's with a really late pick on the Fuki who tried to get an, an exit kill. No, that's actually gonna cause them. Actually, the Cosmic Dawn appear to want to use that pick as their their early pick. That's a really good flux there. It actually forces out the beat. Now the Colossus who got the grill finding out the only staying in a great block, but Antifa with the rip tire finding crossfire and super ninja. Molten Core comes out from Ezzeth, the Pookie shuts it down with a dash! Mag Dragon's on the point with Dr. Grill, it's just a support line for Cosmic Dawn trying to keep each other up! Mag Dragon, she finds a kill on the Antipo, but she's just alone with the Zarya and the Genji, it's not gonna be enough! Pookie finishes her off, Zucker Beast coming out of the point to touch to try and buy Cosmic Dawn the overtime, they get it! Super Ninja's gonna crouch walk their way in! Ezzeth finds a range kill here on the Ravioli Stain! Trying to come back, Super Ninja has to get off point! Somebody from Cosmic Dawn has to touch! Ezdeath finds a way onto the point, and they actually get the kill on the bow too! Ezdeath has found two crucial picks here! They fall, but is it gonna be enough? Super Ninja gets slept, not able to use their Wraith to avoid this! Zucker Beast is back on the Wrecking Ball, and they boot the Lucy way out, but they're gonna be able to wall ride their way back on! Mag Dragon and Dr. Grill have found their way back onto the point to heal! Zucker Beast... They almost put the Zarya off the map here! Crossfire comes in with a huge shatter! It finds Antipo and... Oak! Can they start executing and getting the kills here? Lucasaros is gonna get the 
anti-kill on the crossfire, and unfortunately, a, a minor C9 comes in from Cosmic Dawn. That was, that was a crazy fight. back and forth fight. Oh, and you, you see the kill feed when you come back in, and they, they got two kills off of Super Ninja's Death Blossom, but it's just too, a little too late, unfortunately. Honestly, if you're Cosmic Dawn there, you're pretty upset. Um, yes. I would argue that they, generally speaking, had pretty firm control of that, and, and should have won that. But I would the agree. The factor coming out of Valkyries is big. Absolutely. I think they went into just about every single fight they went into, like, alt advantage down. And they were still pulling out. I mean, they got the round win. Super Ninja on the far end now. They're running Double Bird actually over there on the side of Cosmic Dawn. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to run into this McCree Torbjorn, but Crossfire. Gonna open this up with a nice hook kill to Ravioli Stain, but Pookie answers with a pick on the Doctor Grill. That's a lot of heals gone, and a nice hook from Oak. Gonna take Crossfire straight into the well. Mag Dragon and Super Ninja are gonna farm Mercy their way into the back line. They find a pick on the bow. Is it gonna be enough to turn this around? They're contesting. There's not really anything to take out Super Ninja right now. They get the turret laid down before they die. Uh, it does look like there's not gonna be any point presence here on the side of Cosmic Dawn. They're gonna have to get this point up, but they could potentially come back in here and snowball this. Yeah, Mag Dragon with a really nice res on the Super Ninja. Yeah, they're gonna come back in fast off of that res from Mag Dragon. That's really, like... Huge oh, boot there we from go. Zucker. Well, is that Zucker Beast? I think Zuck got a little, I little think, action. I, I think Super Ninja, Super Ninja booped that and got, uh, yeah, Zucker Beast got the, the final touches. Super Ninja gonna pop Raj here, get themselves three more. <laughs> They're gonna take a nap after doing all that. <laughs> I, honestly, after that whole fight, that whole sequence of events, that nap's well deserved. Uh, I agree. <laughs> like, Zuck, Zuck robbed, robbed the, the, like, 5k there. Yeah. <laughs> Valkyries have gotten a nice little regroup going here. Super Ninja are gonna go on ahead and chuck some damage boosted rockets in on them. Spooky with the... Ooh, the Deadeye not finding anything. It takes Ezzeth down to no health, though. Super Ninja does fall to Pooky, and now Pookie gets Mag Dragon while she was trying to get the res. I think it is, but Crossfire's in their back line and making it really hard for them to push forward. Now that they've gotten the pick up of Crossfire, they can move in. Oh, the Butch has four, but he gets cancelled out! I think... Oh, that was actually, um... Sorry, that was a duplicate flux that I was worried about. <laughs> As the copy just expired, because I saw Zucker be then with them all up, and I was like, wait, what? Mag Dragon with the Valkyrie tries to get the res, but flies too far away from it. <laughs> Crossfire, Grill, and Mag Dragon are kind of all that's left here. They're gonna—I would assume they're gonna try to get out here. They are. Yeah, they, they have to look to get. Uh, they really need to take another real strong fight. Uh, they're gonna have to take a fight where they force ults out of Valkyries here because right now Valkyries is set up to the win the rest of this map. Yeah, we're looking at realistically six ultimates versus two, one of which is Whole Hog and one of which is Rescuter Spawn. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hard to move the ultimates out of Valkyrie. Buckfire not getting the hook. Zucker Beast gets pulled in. Double Whole Hog. Zucker Beast gets the rock kill on the Oak. And Super Ninja in the back line with the barrage finds Antipo. The main counter to the double burn pump that they were running. Sorry, SF had swapped over to Ash. Dead Eye coming out for Boo Boo, but Crossfire hooks it. No Dead Eye coming out, and they get the confirmation on the kill too. Mag Dragon with the res on the Super Ninja. SF picks off Ana, and a great hook from Crossfire to knock Bo into the well. All that's left touching is Antipo, Ravioli Saints coming back, Oak is gonna saw it out just a little bit longer. Nice shield from Zuckerbeast to make sure nobody goes into the well either. And now Cosmic Dawn are gonna retake this, and they forced out four of the six ultimates from Valkyries. Check this out. No, that was actually not what I thought they needed, but that's because I didn't think that Valkyries would give it to them. Uh, oh. Valkyrie's been a ton in a losing fight there, and they're gonna be punished for it. They're gonna struggle to find the ultimate. 
Super Ninja finding Pookie. That's gonna be huge. They're effectively in one fight territory, but the tanks are in trouble! They're both anti crossfire, one HP and no breather! Isabel's gonna come in with the visor from behind! Finds Dr. Grill and no Rabbi only thing that left an opening for Mad Dragon to fall now. Zuckerbees uses the flux, only finds sorrow. Bob gets tossed in. Is it gonna be enough to stall? Super Ninja with the barrage finds one. That might actually be enough for them to stabilize here. Super Ninja took a fight with Ezdeath over there, gets Pookie, and Crossfire holds down the main choke, and they're gonna keep their Ilios hopes alive. Well, this is, you know, in much the same way that I was, I'm, I'm upset for with KD for losing that first map, I'm pretty upset with Mudface <laughs> for losing that point. Like, we gotta find some stability. Oh, we do see the Hagen. Oh, no, we're seeing Ryan Zarya. Interesting, interesting. I think also, uh, no KD heard us talking about Valkyrie's ability to clutch out fights and then said, hang on, watch us too. <laughs> Looks like, uh, aside from swapping to Brawl Tanks, KD wants to run the same lineup. Meanwhile, on the side of Valkyries, we see a pretty much dive swap here. Antipo able to find a quick pick on the Super Ninja. It's gonna be a lot harder to play the far on this map as opposed to well. Especially into a Widowmaker and a Soldier. Valkyries have pretty much taken this high ground advantage. As that gets forced down into the little cubby. Nice dynamite find sorrow. The tanks are pretty weak on the side of Valkyries. They can kind of force Valkyries hands on this. Buki finally gets a side kill on the Mag Dragon, but I think that's about all Valkyries are gonna find here. They need to retreat. They knock Bo out of mech. As death swiping the kill from Crossfire. <laughs> I would like to run back to last match, just in this inner fight, and give props to Ezdeth. Yeah. He's a T1 off tank player, and obviously T1's taking an off season. So what does he do? He plays Echo in tier 2, copies <laughs> Sigma, goes for it himself. I appreciate the effort. It's a good look. This will heal. We do see these teams come in, and Pink is fighting the early pick on Super Nintendo. Shatter coming out from Crossfire, not finding anything. Coalescence from Dr. Grillmo actually finds a kill on the Ravioli Sting while keeping their team alive for the most part through those mines. As Death, unfortunately, only having 200 HP, not gonna find their way out. Super Ninja directly above point, gonna force Wrecking Ball to stop contesting. Um, so, unfortunately for Valkyries, they're doing a lot to stop Super Ninja, like in Mag Dragon, from this Far Mercy duo they've got going here. And even though they're consistently shutting down Super Ninja, they're not finding the blow onto Mag Dragon. And she just keeps rezzing Super Ninja, who then proceeds to kill like two things. It's hard at this level of play to call your shot in it. And then you have the ball camp that well, they get Mag Dragon right off the bat here, but the Barrage and the Grav get invested, and this looks like it's it's actually still winnable for Valkyries here. Until Zucker B shuts me up and gets the pick on the Anthem. <laughs> Cosmic Dawn are setting themselves up for a pretty commanding win on Ruins to close out Ilios, but we're gonna see a touch from Suki at the very last second, but Crossfire pins Bo, kind of preventing any sort of last touch that could happen here. It's just staggering for Valkyries at this point. They found five kills, all that's left to find is this Wrecking Ball. Oak is doing a pretty good job of stalling out, but unfortunately the overtime respawns are just brutal and nobody's gonna find their way back. Cosmic Dawn will take Ilios. So after after hard choking that that first one, I'm, I'm happy to see Cosmic Dawn came back, and here we get to see this play live. <laughs> I'm seeing the four. Oh boy! That's good. One.
44 44 elam 60 percent kp from super ninja that, that's a that's a good number and i i think you kind of come back around um and talk about how powerful far is on console and i think it's kind of a two-way street one obviously hit scan is just not as good you know it yeah. is hard to be as consistent but a lot of the compositions that we see run here don't include characters that can reliably deny the res while also playing in like a against a Fara comp because you see a lot of like double hit scan looks yeah to force the Fara out and that leaves you with unless the Fara is playing real aggro they're gonna be in the back just poking and you're gonna you know headshot combo them whatever um, come down and then hop in and get rest. Like there, there's no, you, there's no way to deny that res, and it's so difficult. Um, unless you have a dedicated like dive tank squad or something. Right. The, the dream is you have a hit scan that you trust to. Maybe not one v one, but you know. A mercy pocketed ash or something that you can force the fara to to you know play even further back without having to dedicate the double hit scan um I, actually i really think that's something that is underutilized you don't have to kill the fara mercy you have to make them play less greedy is ultimately yeah what it's about. definitely like I, I wish teams would, would at least entertain that idea a little bit more uh, rather than double committing just trying to force them into you know uh, yeah and, and just more fully dedicating yourself to killing the far mercy you can as somebody who has played Barra into those double hit scan uh, compositions if you get yourself just like one person who can consistently shoot the Farah in the leg it's gonna pretty much force the Farah to play in places she doesn't want to or she can't get value in I mean obviously you have to keep her in check you can't just force her into a spot and then expect her to stay there but for the most part yeah if you can just make the Farah kind of play in angles that give her less value even that's just kind of a, a win uh, the score is 1-0 to Cosmic Dawn Korean Oh, Hydra is coming in on the DPS line. Oh boy. And we Neato. see possibly my favorite name in the server, Professor Oak, PhD, moving over from <laughs> tank to the support line. There's some flexibility there. Don't Silent often see that tank. swap. Yeah, that's that one's a little less common. I don't know if we're not seeing swaps or haven't yet seen swaps come out of KD. KD has oh. quite the bench over there. I would assume we're going to see something, some sort of swap come out of them for this uh, this next map. Weeby is coming in for Super Ninja. Big Rick Energy is coming in for Zuckerbees. And Zom Dylan is coming in for Mag Dragon. Lots of changes then. Looks like we be need an invitation, which probably needs somebody be need kicking to make room. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it does appear that way. We are full this evening.
I do believe this is uh, the last time for a while that I'll have to lay eyes on Ike involved in an OWO uh, setting. Which is fine by me. This map does nothing but mean things to me. I don't like it. You know, I made a comment. I don't know if you watched your match back yesterday, your Avity. I mm -hmm. made a comment in Twitch chat about making your Avity play Iconwald. How unkind. <laughs> <laughs> you played well, in my opinion. But Thank I, you. I can't, you know, I don't know how many VOD reviews we've done, but a statistically significant portion of them... Um, Usually Ike involved, yeah. <laughs> I have been Ike, yeah. Oh, oh, we see Super Ninja coming back in for Weeby. That's interesting. Uh, it looks like it's a surprise to Weeby too. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's never fun to be in that position. You get yourself, you know, mentally hyped, like, yeah, let's go, boys, let's go, and then back to the bench. Oof. Sad, sad weeby noises. <laughs> Very sad weeby noises. Though that does tell me that, like, whatever it is Cosmic Dawn is planning on, they plan to have an option for Ariel. Uh, play because like we all know Super Ninja is very very strong on Farah. Uh, Ghosty's been making more of a name for themselves on the Echo, um, but also can flex over to Farah. So, and you've got Ez Death over there who we just saw bust out a really nice looking Echo on Well. So, um, whatever it is they're planning to do, it does seem like they plan on leaving Aerial DPS as a pretty big option in their arsenal right now. I mean, it was quite effective, um, mm -hmm. in all fairness. And again, I'm all about watch, <laughs> watching Ezdeath play tank from the, <laughs> from the, from the DPS line. Um, if only for, if only for the lulls, you know? <laughs> yep. Yeah. It does seem like, though, uh, Valkyries have taken some pretty extensive measures to counter the, the aerial play coming out of Cosmic Dawn, considering they've put two people who are very experienced and talented on the hitscan role together on their DPS line. That's true. Silent Tamer Hydra is a spooky kind of a of a DPS lane. Um, kind of just in general, but hit scan Hydra and you know Silent Tamer kind of gets around on lots of things. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll be interested. I, I hope, even though the way that we got the first. The first map being so close wasn't particularly agreeable to either team. No. Um, I, I hope it continues to be that close, honestly. I, I I think that map ends up only being so close just because, like, Ready for that. Uh, of just playing around the point weird. <laughs> I think that, uh, boat, like, both maps that those teams dropped there were totally winnable for both of them and just kind of barely slipped out of their hands at the last second. I think whatever small errors those teams made, uh, if they clean those up, we could still see a, a really close series, but we also might see new weaknesses reveal themselves and we'll have to see if those teams are quick enough to correct them. Indeed, indeed. Three. We're gonna see a Fire Strike Dynamite combo come out here from Cosmic Dawn. Super Ninja does appear to have at least struck one person with the dynamite. 
Silent Tamer comes out on the Farah. They're gonna be playing the Farah into a Torbjorn Ash. They do have the Farm Mercy though. But this does mean on a map like Eichenball, they're gonna be making the full rotation, which we already see happening. Super Ninja's taking a nap. Uh, it does mean that there are only four people here by this uh, broken Omnic tank. Super Ninja's yeah. keeping them in check too, so there is a possibility that Cosmic Dawn just collapsed on these four who are hiding behind this tank. I really actually would like to what do that. What? There's the nano boost onto the Reinhardt. Hunter's gonna go in really strong here, but gets charged out by Crossfire. Crossfire gets taken for a ride. It's gonna hurt significantly worse than the nano. Shatter comes out, finds Crossfire and Zombie Dylan. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough here. The pincer attack doesn't seem to be going through for Valkyrie. Silent Tamer's kind of stuck here now. We see Grill whipping out the Glock and going for the final blow on the Silent Tamer, but Crossfire finds it with the Fire Strike. My you ultimate know, is charging. Grill Glock is a fearsome, uh... the barrier! So now we see... That's a huge pick if it can't get res. It does. <laughs> Hydra has killed both members of the support line now. One of which got rezzed up. The window has come out deterring a little bit of play, but Silent Tamer finds a pick on the bear counter. Very, very good push here from the DPS line. This is an incredible scary DPS line. Like, out of all for That was very much so a... Cosmic kind of gave them an inch, and then Hydra took a mile, and then Silent Tamer, like, bought another half mile off the mile that Hydra bought. Well, I, I think it goes back to, well, Will was able to get the res on Like, that bought so much space, and he needed to another And it's probably an unresable position to Silent Yeah, on. Super Ninja was up on the bridge, Grill entertained the idea of going up and getting the res, but decides better. And Hydra hops up on the bridge and finds an out of position Dylan. The res is gonna go through under their honor though. They'll have that back in play. Crossfire kind of stuck here in this corner. As that is gonna use Mobile 4 in the Graviton Surge. It might find Oh there we go! It finally kicks in and finds three. But the flux coming out from spooky memes, it's still gonna leave Cosmic on in a critical position, all that's left now is SF's turret, which gets taken down, or res on the hunters can bring their other tank back into the fight, and they're four strong on the cart now. And an almost uncontested Hydra on the high ground is just not... not something you wanna... wanna deal with. Uh, it's taking another position here. Bob, Bob, Both Bobs tossed out here. Hydra gets a kill on the Super Ninja. With... with Baron Bob, I should add. Crossfire getting aggro here, takes out the main tank for Valkyries. Is that gonna be enough to swing the tide of this fight? Hydra's also hacked, so we won't be seeing the dynamite for a moment. Grill actually finds the kill on the Hydra. <laughs> Using the Valkyrie has decided enough's enough, and now Cosmic Dawn are gonna push out and try to get some stagger kills here. Crossfire is out in no man's land, finding the kill on the Oak, but unfortunately gets killed themselves by Hunter. Spooky memes barely getting out with their life. The inability of Valkyries to finish that there um, is going to hurt them in a really big way. The old economy has now pretty well leveled out. Um, mm -hmm. Positionally, there's not a lot of great options. Your snipers are going to have much tighter sight lines. Um, well, Hydra's up on this bridge trying to get a pick on the S death. Gets them down the half health. They do find a pick on the Dr. Grill. The sustain is missing, but a huge shatter finding three in the castle. They're going to be able to follow up on this pretty nicely here with a nice hack onto the Ava. No anti names are coming out now. Ravioli Stain is left alone in the basement. It looks like they're going to kind of play with their food on that one. I, I don't think their composition is suited to coming through castle. Um, obviously, that's the most efficient way to pad. But you're running a, a double sniper, a pretty, a triple sniper, really, if you want to count Ana. Mm -hmm. um, composition here, and I would really rather them take probably the long route to high ground, so taking the, the walls. Ezdeth is gonna look for 
charging an EMP really fast here, or just a early pick on the Silent Tamer. That would have been a really good way to start this off, but unfortunately, Silent Tamer gets the pick on the them, and meanwhile, Hydra on point has managed to find two picks of their own. The Shadow coming out with the Nano Boost. Pretty much gonna close this fight out with a team kill. However, Cosmic Dawn should have enough time to come back out here and recontest this, depending on how they play their cards with coming out of the doors. 60 seconds remaining. Honestly, BX Hunter. I don't know if they're gonna try. No, they were going to. As they were going to touch, and he got body blocked effectively by BX Hunter rushing in there with the hammer. I don't know if she was try checking or it was an active, you know, just. Yeah. Walking around swinging his hammer. Unfortunately, Ezef got found out in the back line too, and goes down here, and their EMP fight's currently missing. They have a huge ult up advantage, but I assume they're waiting on this huge EMP, finding six members, the Shatter, the Grab, and the Attack Vice to come out on top of it, as well as the Nano Boost. That was... That is... I would rather lose that fight than use five ults and win it. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I think, um, I, I'm pretty sure if you lose the fight with where the card is there, you just lose with six ults online at that point. Uh, I don't think so. I think you get another fight if you lose instantly right there. But, either way, you lose yourself up for a very long time. There's the Gravitic Flux. Bob gets soft in behind. There's not gonna be a shield to cover the members of their team that are half health. Crossfire takes Hunter all the way to the back line, but the damage is already done. Valkyries finding themselves a really nice setup. No ults online for Cosmic Dawn here. Super Ninja though finding a, a kill here on the Silent Tamer. They've got bodies on the point here. Is it going to be enough? Hydra is kind of uncontested up on this high ground. Huge shatter from Hunter now. They get the final blow on the Rift, but. Super Ninja on the Soldier has done quite a bit of work for them. Zombie Dylan goes down to Ravioli Thane, gets rezzed up by Grill. Hunter is just swinging away on the point, trying to find a final blow. They almost find Super Ninja in their charge, but not quite. They do turn around to get S Death though. Rick and Dylan are back on the point. Now we see Dr. Grill trying to keep people up as well. Rick finds a pick on the Hunter. The main tank being gone now is going to be huge. Gravitic Fox coming out though. Not quite gonna find the point though. Super Ninja popping ult from the high ground here. Is it gonna be enough? The Shatter coming through They're gonna prevent the touch. And Cosmic Gone will music. finally hold here on point C. Just at the very end of the rope, too. Zero to two. Well, I, I eat my words a little bit. Um, they don't lose the, you know, they don't give up the map after that five volt fight. But that's still a very expensive fight win. Um, but they make it work. Mm hmm And that, that's... I don't know. I, so, I'm gonna take a, take an early eyeball test and say points where Hydra can do hit scanny things? Very scary. Those more cons inner constrained Ready? spots? Uh, it's still scary, but a lot more controllable. Um, you know, you can work around it. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to see what comes out of it. Uh, like, defensively, this could be not a lot of fun. I'm not sure what they plan to run, but I do like the somber look from Esdeath. Um, he can make a lot of important calls and, and, like, determinations from that role, especially when you're yep. invisible. Uh, we do see what looks like just a pure pick potential comp coming out here on the side of Valkyries, though, which is going to be really dangerous for what Cosmic Dawn is currently running to play into. If Spooky means memes, memes finds a hook here. That'll pretty much be the deletion of whatever gets pulled in. But it also doesn't even entirely matter. The silent Chamber just find somebody not minding their their walking path. Or Hydra does that. 
there, there's just so many dangers for them to walk into, and I know they've technically got a double shield up right now, but that'll only do so much. Hunter with a nice fire strike on the Rick, and now they're gonna press the go button. They're pressuring Crossfire as much as possible. Hunter finding the final blow. Hydra says no to the immortality field, but Cosmic Dawn are pretty much already out. We do see Izith in that backline position. Um, honestly, if he finds Oak right here, he could assassinate Oak. Uh, that might be the point. No, Izith actually runs away from Oak. I, I think he's gonna go for the, uh, the Really like nice trade to locate there. They talk to the Sig Diva on the side of Cosmic Dawn, which I, I don't know if I've ever seen. Oh, that's a they do take out the main tank for Valkyrie. A huge tire shutdown from Rick right there. At this point, it's just going to be clean up here. Spooky means with the nano in the back line, finding Crossfire's Baby Diva, but Ezeth is going to shut it down before he gets any more value out of it. That'll be Cosmic Dawn taking point A. That was smooth, especially getting close to portal out of all reasons. A couple of nice I, things about this composition that Cosmic Dawn are running right now is the ability to contest high ground, which means having the Baptiste who can easily get up there and the Diva. And if they can take control of it, you have the soldier. Well, I mean, no one's not going to be able to hop up there if that happens. But if they can put the soldier up there, they have pretty decent control over the high ground. However, Hydra sitting up on this balcony here finds two again. Actually gonna get the D-neck on the crossfire as they try to get out. We're, we're moving into Hydra doing Hydra things. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Silent Tamer on the high ground is a, like... Hey, well, no, there's like a there. If there was any composition that you could fear I uh, get through this. Oh god. That is a bad stagger, uh, unfortunately, for a crossfire. Oh, yeah. That's the latest. Amplification uh, matrix charging. The experiment is ready. So, like this would be the composition you want to eat the spam. Like the problem is going to be they're playing high ground. Esdef can hit the uh, the EMP, but there's not a lot of options for them to get up. Yeah, there's no real follow up options for when the EMP comes out. Super Ninja pops attack visor. More of a deterrent visor, I think here. Riptire, and the Shatter, that's gonna be huge, it finds four! As Death is just... accepting? I think the acceptance is... that he's realizing there's a potential he has to give up this EMP. Um, actually, no, 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 no. EMP bomb on this high ground, if they can place the, the, the Diva bomb, that, that, that could potentially be what they're looking for, apparently. That, that um, there. has to be the play. Oh, spooky memes with a really nice hook on the Dr. Grill, and now the whole hog to force people out of this room. Gets hacked out of it, though, from Ezdeath, but unfortunately no Trader's Locator to get out with. I'm just gonna get the finishing blow on that. It's, as it tries to run out. Super Ninja finding a late pick on the Silent Tamer, though. If you can get Cosmic Dawn regrouped here, that might be big. Super Ninja also looking for another pick here, taking a duel with Hydra. But unfortunately, Hydra, there's the bomb! It finds Ravioli Sane, just barely. Hunter's hacked out right now. Bob is actually up on this balcony. Cosmic Dawn have to be really careful right now. No, this is Little dire straits. Uh, Crossfire is finding himself being the only one up there, and that's closer to me than he's ever like to play. Huge hook from Spooky again! The EMP comes out finding most of the reliving members of Valkyries. Rav is able to get her. Uh, her vault. Oh. Really good. Rez 2 on to Oak, bringing another support back into the fight. Crossfire Anti gets out of the fight, coming into the back line to find the pick on the Hydra. 
Spooky also in the back line though, pulls Rick in. Using the breather now in a really dangerous spot. Both tanks are ganging up on Spooky. A nice block. I would assume kind of unintentionally there from Rick on the Spooky moves. Bob being tossed in. Super Ninja with a really early kill on the Hunter. That's also going to prevent Ravioli Stain from even coming in and touching. That was actually a pretty atrocious. Uh, like, nothing about that was good. The way that they took the end of that fight. Spooky mean. Staggering himself for three years. Uh, Professor Oak rotating into Narnia for like a, I assume an off angle nade. Here comes the bomb from Crossfire. Can't find anything. It does. It finds half of Valkyries. The ball coming through on the rig. It's gonna open up the kill. Dylan finds the finishing blow on the hunter. Spooky means he's trying to get out, but isn't going to find their way out. One person has managed to stay alive, and it's Oak on this Ana manages to get the recontest here. Is it gonna be enough? Fox gets used. It finds Silent Taylor. Now the window comes out. Bob has been invested on the side of Valkyries. The entire team is back now. Can they turn this fight around? Hydra's up on the balcony on the right side, but Super Ninja shuts him down. The picks are still going in favor of Cosmic Dawn. Spooky Memes knocked out of their whole hog, and Cosmic Dawn are getting the picks they need to finish this off. The support line is gone. Hunter's been brought back into the fight. The Doom Fist Swap has come out from Hydra. He barely makes it back onto the point. Silent Tamer has come out. Hydra manages to find a pick on the Dylan. But unfortunately, as that picks off Hydra, but now Valkyries are coming back out for a round, another round of recontesting here. We see the Wrecking Ball from Spooky Names is now being used. It's the, the Bob is huge. It finds the support line again. Hunter getting knocked out of Mecha, Hydra dropping from the high ground, finding a pick on the end death again. The Zoomfist is going to start whittling away at their resources if they don't get this point quick enough here. Cosmic Dawn finding the pick on the Super Ninja, it's just popping off right now. Finding every pick they need, another mob being tossed in here. That might just be what they need to wrap this up, and it is! Cosmic Dawn are going to take Eichenwald and the series up to 2-0. Oof, that was an Impressive display. Play Super Ninja the in full shooting gallery mode there. <laughs> this was just filthy. Oh, that that shatter was, was so big. It was incredibly clean. And yes, as death is. <laughs> like, it's like, yes, you have defeated us. Thank you. And what do you find? Kill streak from Crossfire? Yet. Oh, okay. Insane. Right, Diva. It is Diva, so that that's some remake probably going on there. But still, that was that was very close. Once they... Cosmic got rolling after they finally got the cart around that corner on B, they just really got rolling. It was you know, really hard to put the brakes on Cosmic Dawn. There's a there's a common theme here, and it's I, Valkyries are losing in spots where they shouldn't or they're losing real hard um like that second point like defense that they just hyper staggered themselves out through was that might be map losing um like even if they buy themselves just a little more time to get the, the OT spawns, you know, ticking, mm -hmm. I, any recontest at all, rather than spooky memes being in Narnia, um, while they just free push cart, like, <laughs> being chased around, that was, that was just a very unfortunate play. It, it's unfortunate, because I know the thought process of being back there like that, and, and you end up, you're, like... You, everybody preaches it so much when you're when you're in scrims, when you're doing bot reviews with your team, and like, when you're getting coaching. It's like don't get staggered, don't get staggered, don't get staggered. And um, sometimes you think you like if you do something clever or you haven't been caught yet, or if only one person saw you, maybe you can like you can take that route down low, get out by going through the castle and back up to your team and meeting them when they respawn or something. And it's it's unfortunate because it's just it's trying not to get staggered too badly, but unfortunately you end up staggering yourself even worse than you would have before. And I, I understand the thought process because I've I've been in that position before and I've made that decision more times than I'd like to admit. But 
Um, I I don't. I'm not gonna blame spooky memes for for their point B loss there. It's just really unfortunate. No. That I think they were trying to trying to get out. Um, just unfortunately, like, like I've said that word so many times now, but they got teamed up on by the tank. Unfortunately, I think. Uh, I think I don't know if Hydra and Spooky both communicated that they were going to do that flank, and when Hydra gave themselves up, I I think it revealed that Spooky memes was back there, and Spooky memes ended up becoming collateral damage in the flank. No, I don't I don't think um don't don't misunderstand me. I don't think that it was his fault. Um, I think he right. played a, a role in like this larger, just catastrophic. Right, because um, I also like, believe that I don't position. think that fight necessarily needed to devolve for Valkyries to where it had gotten to the point where Spooky Memes ended up in that position. It's kind of um, what I was talking about on Ilios Well is the fact that, um, which was um, the map that I believe Cosmic Dawn started their their swing back on. Um, which was where Valkyries had like this major ult advantage over Cosmic Dawn and Cosmic Dawn overcame it. It almost, it almost seems like Cosmic Dawn are, are finding ways to just really punish positional mis, uh, like misplays, even to the smallest degree. Because like Crossfire's ult, uh, when they like chuck Diva Bomb up onto the high ground, it missed. Uh, Hydra. Hydra was able to get onto the bridge in a way, but unfortunately there was a distraction up there, and I don't remember who was causing it, whether it was Esdeath or um, Super Ninja, but somebody was up there on the high ground, and it it split up Hydra and um, Ravioli Stain, and Ravioli Stain only got caught by that, because like Mercy's heal happened to be in the line of sight of that of that bomb. It was... And that kind of swung the fight open for them when they lost their ability to res and one of their main heals got taken out of the fight. Uh, I would tend to agree. We are seeing Hydra running it back another map. Mm -hmm. um, Bow and Beagle in on the tank line. Hydra and Pookie on the, the DPS. And then... Um, uh, Book and Spooky actually on the support line. Oh, we see in Red Hood Kitty come in. Very yeah. exciting. And Weeby Ghost is seeming to get their map this time. <laughs> uh, we we see it again. I think. Uh, yeah, with the. From the tank line to the support line now in spooky memes. So, Temple of Anubis is another point where the Hydra hit scan uh, could finally find purchase um, for Valkyries. You know, first point, Widow, very spooky, um, or Ash, or, you know, anything. On the other hand, um, there's a lot of that double flyer comp I really like for attacking point A Anubis. Now, Not so much sold on defending it, but like there's a lot of looks that we can see from these teams that are good. Initiating match. This will be the first time tonight we see uh, Cosmic Dawn on the attacking side first. Uh, just as a reminder to the audience, um, we will be like everybody's flipped right now, so Cosmic Dawn will now be the red team, and uh, Valkyries will be the blue team. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Oh, 
Okay, okay. We do see... Interestingly, we see the defensive Genji out of... Really fantastic feeling. Uh, to just try that over I set this up on this uh, gate in between. It hops down, but I actually have an opportunity there to pick off stars or uh, Hydra. And Cosmic are just coming in swinging here with a brawl. Oh. Not, not a whole lot for me to play by play there. They just kind of. Came in and killed everything really, really quickly. Yeah, that was incredibly smooth on the side of Cosmic uh, uh, Oh, Hydra fighting SF. And then on Are you kidding me? Dylan gonna die from fire tick? Like, Hydra up on the side ground. He's just kind of turning this around. <laughs> Do I have your attention yet? No, that is... Obviously, I think there was too Very much activity. of a concern to get snowballed there. How bad they yeah. lost first fight. But if they had, like, Hydra very successfully stabilized that. Uh, it's actually, I would argue that the ult, right, the, uh... Ult war between these two teams actually favors Valkyries despite them having lost that first fight. Um, Get in there, it's close. I think we're moving in the right direction. I'm a little concerned. Uh, Bob being used here is going to just be kind of fed to the wolves as that they able to get the final blow. Question is, how do they approach? Up to right getting kind of caught out of position here. Shatter gets used. It finds Pookie. If they can get the final blow on this Genji, that could be huge. Not quite yet. Crossfire, though, does find the pick on the Hydra. Blade coming out from Pookie. Trying to find the kill on the SF. But SF is getting the biggest pocket from Kitty ever. Able to stay alive long enough to get a pick on the bow. Uh, the respawn advantage is eventually going to start being felt for KD. Yeah. Bobby Dylan trying their best to stay alive, but unfortunately, they're not going to be able to pocket the Reinhardt enough to stay alive. Ghost trying to keep this fight alive here, finding two picks, and the grab being invested here, but the transcendence is going to negate any big plays that could be had with it. Weeby Ghost is going to hold on to the Death Blossom in a smart manner. Oh, gets, now uses it. Gets hooked out of it, and unfortunately, Cosmic Don are gonna use a lot of ults there and find the, not a whole lot with any of them. No, in some ways, uh, Weeby staying in that fight late uh, was kind of a kind of a trap, I guess, for lack of a better term. It was absolutely winnable, um, and I think the ultimate there could have converted if they hadn't done it, you know, right in the face of a Rokog. <laughs> Um, I think that could have maybe not finished the point, but certainly like bottom a really good play that just didn't work out. Hydra able to pick off the stuff and able to get a chance to attack here. Pookie with another Dragon Blade finds to pick up the Dylan and Crossfire. Dashing out, looking for more, finds to pick up the Red Hook Kitty too, and dashes straight into the Sigma, finding the final blow there too. You know, I, I had some concerns with the Genji pick on first point, and I don't think they were unfounded. Yeah. And then that first blade from Pookie was a little shaky, but holy crap. Man built a second one and, you know, picked up a, <laughs> I don't know, 5k then? Yeah. Uh, already 25% back to yeah. the next year. So we actually see a, a DPS sort of swap here, as Death has uh, taken up the Reaper Man for a while. Maybe Ghost picks up the Sombra. Finds a hack on the Beagle, not allowing the whole hog to come out just yet. Nesdeth getting a crucial pick on three spooky leads. And Bukasaros, Nesdeth has removed the support line for Valkyries. And now this rotation, it's kind of for KD at a point where they're kind of defending the objective now. 
A huge hack on the bow. The ball isn't going to be able to keep rolling around forever, but KD needs to come out here and get it. They finally do. Crossfire on the Steva again. That actually has been a very strong look for Crossfire as they just casually pick up a 4k. Beagle pulls in. Weeby goes to Crossfire with the defense matrix. Actually prevents the kill from going through. And the slam from Bo lifts up four members of Cosmic Dawn, but now the Coalescence is here. Pookie using the blade and the Transcendence to support it. The bomb doesn't find anything. Pookie actually able to cut through the sound barrier. You're gonna pick up the Weeby Ghost. Is it gonna be enough though? Bo could flip it up with the Flux. It's actually gonna find the finishing blow here. Hydra tries with the dead eye off point, but not able to find a kill, and that'll be Cosmic Dawn taking point B with a minute and a half time there. Pretty solid attack from KD to two. Switching sides. Don't uh like it, it had some shaky points. But, uh, just a domineering match. Um you know, opening attack into a pretty passable second point as well. Definitely. The question will be, what sort of offense can Valkyries put together? I will be interested to see. Ready for battle. We see Hydra on the Widow. Uh, Moira Bat potentially. Pookie still on that game. Uh, a more traditional line is already a kind of uh, a tank line. We're seeing... Ooh! I actually really like this composition on the defense. Um, I think this is going to probably throw some problems. We're seeing a double shield uh, Arisa Sig with mm -hmm. the Junkrat and the Echo, which are both very spammy and, and terrifying on this point. And then you have a Baptiste for just raw sustain and that Mercy to pocket, you know... Really, the spam off of the jump route, or just Weeby in general, either one. Uh, we see Weeby actually had a really good set of bombs get tossed in there, already putting them up to 20% before the first fight one even starts. I don't, I don't dislike this rotation coming out from Valkyries here to try and... Ooh, that's a really nice pick from Hydra to start things off, and finding the pick on the edge that now Kitty has to make a decision on which one to res, but unfortunately Kitty goes down, Bo drops down and finds them, and Valkyrie's looking to match the blistering pace that was set on point A by KD. That's almost <laughs> the ideal scenario if you're Hydra there. Um, your team rotates in, they, ro they hard rush, you know, everybody repositions to look at them, nobody yep. counts that the, there's only five and then you pop up. It's actually quite reminiscent of, like, Gladiators in Season 1 of Overwatch yep. playoffs with the Great Bamboo. <laughs> Another really good rotation here from Valkyries. They're just coming in with the biggest brains on these rotations today. And the Hydra in the However, Weeby Ghost counts on it this time. Trading's back and forth. The DPS line is gone for Valkyries. You're gonna have a hard time chewing through Cosmic Dawn. But Ghosty's focusing beam not gonna have a hard time chewing through the health of these tanks. But they go in a little bit aggressive, and Spooky Memes punishes them for going in alone in this dark, like, hallway. This is still somewhat of a poke war between these two teams. Valkyries do need to find their way out soon, though. I don't love, um, Book using his Demorph there, but it's. <laughs> I actually, I really think that they should have just died on the point of They should trying to get out. But it's, it's so minor. You know, they have a five minute time bank. Um, let's see what they can do. The, the ult economy is actually heavily in favor of KD right now. Well, yeah, no, I would consider it heavily. They had six, well, five and 73 on a torb, so. I drove with an opening pick on the zombie Dylan there. Kind of uh leaving Weeby Ghost's Echo caught out under the bridge, but 
The duplicate wears off and they get back out. Kitty with the res on the Dylan is gonna force Valkyries out of this fight. It kind of looked like Valkyries just acknowledged that they weren't gonna get the fight that they wanted to take, so they just dropped it. They got duplicate and supercharge with both um, out of KD here, and have now filled up their own, you know, quite formidable ultimate bank. So. I like the, the opportunity that they're gonna have on this next push. Mm -hmm. um, oh, blowing off. Grab Molten Core is gonna be huge though. They use the beat to keep everybody alive. Kuki with another Dragon Blade gets rid of the Immortality Field and finds the final blow on the S Death. But S Death's turret gonna find the kill from the grave. Flux being committed here, finds Spooky and Bo. Bo gets slammed down and dies from it, and Ghosty finding the final blow on the Pookie just after they hit the ground. Uh, uh the... Book of kind of in trouble here. There was actually a- that was a really unfortunate, uh, I'm gonna assume it was a team move. Hydra came up around, um, with what I thought was going to be the tank line. Uh, so it's a, a little bit of an off-angle-y type, uh, visor, and they... Uh, Shatter from Bo is huge! I will not wait this opportunity. So it looks like... Kinda kinda stall out here, Hydra on the far above point, applying pressure, forcing KD to play back in this room. Immortality field being used right here is actually really good for them. They're able to kind of stand in a really high demand position. Good Molten Core from Ezeth though, kind of preventing them from holding an ideal choke on anywhere. And it allows Crossfire to come back on this D.Va. Again, Crossfire just kind of casually dropping the 3k, 4k on the recontest. Cool. If you're, if you're Valkyries, you're really... You're struggling. You're searching for an answer. Um... Your answer might be this next fight. Ghosty is down. That was the only, well, aside from Bomb, the only major ult they were gonna have to worry about here. And they're coming up on six. The dragons come out. They're gonna cut off half of Cosmic Dawn. A nice hook from Beagle, though, keeping Crossfire away from this fight. Hydra comes in, finds two with the Mirage! Two critical picks, too, but Crossfire on this D.Va, answering back with two picks of their own on the Hydra and Bo. Lucasaros has been caught out, Crossfire trying to find the final blow on them, too. Pookie gets lifted back up onto this high ground, the bridge. Beagle using the whole hog, finds Ghosty. And Bo is sort of forced Rick and Kitty into this dark room again. Beagle coming up behind them, actually, trying to get the kill on the Rick. But now Kitty and Rick are getting the support they need from Crossfire, and they're gonna force them back out one more time here. And this is effectively entered last fight territory, and Valkyries have thrown just about everything they can at Cosmic Dawn, and they just seem to not crumble. Uh, no, um, and the problem that they're going to have is they have 38 seconds before they lose this match. If they have not captured the last tick before this goes to overtime, it's over. Yeah. Um, Thirty seconds. And that weighs on you it, when you you know you do that mental math, especially as it yep. as time ticks down and it becomes increasingly impossible. Um, well, Crossfire's already trying to shut down Hydra's off angle push here. The window comes out. Is it going to find anything? The fire strike doesn't. But now the shatter coming out. It only knocks down Zombie Dylan and Crossfire, but now the damage is coming through, the, the utilities are going down for Cosmic Dawn. Now the Molten Core coming out, the Crossfire's bomb, it's gonna be huge, but the good, a really good field from Book of Sorrows might just keep their chances alive here. Rick doing everything they can to hold this together. Crossfire hops off the point in an attempt to force the C9, but it doesn't happen. Bo comes back onto the point, finishing off the remaining players. Kitty fades on just to try and keep that going a little bit longer, but it's not going to happen. They're actually going to keep their series hopes alive here. Only barely, though. Actually, no, they don't. Uh, no they're, they're not. Sorry, yeah. Um, 
So now they're playing uh, for map score, which I can promise you match. will matter. Um, yes. So while this match effectively is is you know determined. We have another map and this point to play, and it will be importante um, as we go into later in the season. And in in that first uh, that first tiebreaker is map differential. Ready for that. So I'll be interested to see what Valkyries comes out with here. Uh, I I gotta say, as as filthy as Hydra has been, pretty much all evening on hit scan. The Faro look, which is not something Attackers that I know him to play, uh, looked pretty good. Honestly, it was just Crossfire being incredibly Johnny on the spot with defense matrixes and, you know, really blocking the, the off angles in the plays that mm -hmm. uh, prevented it from being just you know, deathly effective. And this Five, pretty reliable four, Sombra Reaper three, Rush on the side two, of KD. One. Uh, you know, it's incoming. just a good cop. It's just Defend a good cop. Yeah. Uh. Hydra with a really early pick on the head set there. They're actually going to go into the back line. They're looking for anybody who might not have made that crossover. Hydra's going to be really hard to deal with here in this small choke area. There's nobody right now who's going to take him off of the ski. And they're gonna find another pick on the zombie Dylan. Uh, KD are kind of gonna be forced to just leave. If they want to have any chance at winning Anubis, they've got to get out of this fight now and take a different angle. Or at least get the entire team there together for one. They've swapped to this double hit scan. Look, um, the problem they're gonna have is if Hydra just finds the spot. He can yep. put himself in any tiny hole to get you know, a big barrage. Barrage comes out, that. already shutting down this push. They, if they die quickly here, they get one more put together fight. But unfortunately, uh, Zarya not gonna go out. Actually, trying to commit suicide here to get out. Uh, so he's barely gonna get. We be on the trace. Gets caught by Pookie! That is Krav. That's... No, Dylan's here on the Lucio. Can they touch? Lucio. They get... No, they no. get the whole move! They're not able to make it back in time! Oh, that was a... Feel like... That that was the, the stuff of Reinhardt nightmares that Zombie went through. He got... He got stunned, <laughs> and then he got pulled back by the Orisa, and then he got rocked, and it's like... Oh, oh no. Been there, homie. Been there. Alright, let's see this blade. I only caught the silhouette of this blade. I didn't actually get to get my camera outside until they were assaulting the Sigma. Uh, two O oh, and one uh, Zoms is the score right now, um, which is leaving Cosmic Dawn as the winners of this match. Although we still have one more map left to play. Oof. Overwatch talk. Well, well, well. Um, both of our predictions are now boomed, although for very different reasons. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you're not boomed. You're you're off on your score, but I I, I, definitely... I got my. Team prediction, right? Thank you, uh, me who woke up and put their fantasy in two minutes after they opened their eyes. Indeed. Uh, love to see Drunk Nubis, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Howdy, Miss Katie B. Welcome to the stream. This has been a really fun series to watch, and I, I'm very fascinated in how Cosmic Dawn is able to keep clutching these fights out of just, like, literally nowhere. Uh, I agree. Um, they pretty much go in to most of their fights alt-down, 
and with these really janky compositions, but it's just their style. They play really, really well around each other, and it's really kind of caught Valkyries off guard here, because Valkyries are playing fantastically. They're doing crazy ult combos. They've got their own game plan. Like, I'm enjoying watching their pathing, how they split apart and, like, close back in together when they're, like, pathing their way into fights and trying to collapse on a single target or just get, like, Group A separated from Group B and we converge on Group B type of deal. They're doing a really good job, and Cosmic Dawn just seems to thrive in those types of fights. <laughs> ha. Reading match chat. Uh, Hydra is asking for Zany to come in <laughs> for match <laughs> <four>. Um... <laughs> I can I <laughs> being on the Stardust Crusaders with Zany, I already hear him in the Cosmic Dawn chat probably being like, put me in, put me in, they're asking for me, let me play, I wanna play him. <laughs> oh, put it Well the real play, you know, we love Zany. The real play, you put him in. You you know, you <laughs> you Vault <Volk> convinces <laughs> Katie to put him in and then Hydra goes Bastion. If there's anything that tilts our little darling zany boy, it's some Bastion. And Hydra killing him on Bastion would be... Chef's kiss. Bellissimo. It would be beautiful. Um... But, 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 but... We will see. Uh... Yes, it's 2.01. Uh... To KD, Seth, and Ranch. They did beat um, RK as well. Um, KD did. KD! Oof. I mean, Valkyrie's Dark Horse contender? Or, excuse me, KD Dark Horse contender? Eye emoji? Possibly. I mean, uh, at the start of the three, or maybe before it, I don't remember, but I, I didn't eat at. Not a problem, Ranch. You're breaking up something fierce, Mr. Uravity. Is it any better? Yeah, a little bit. I I really need a new control there. This one's getting some really stupid uh, glitches in it. <laughs> um, I I am coming through clearly now. Yes, you're you're good now. You're okay. Good. Um. I was saying either at the start of the stream or before it that if KD did take the series against Valkyrie, they'd probably become a pretty major blip on people's radars. No, I would very much agree. Um, I would consider, you know, my radar to have been blipped. One ping only, you know, but uh -huh. uh, a blip nonetheless. Um, and it's interesting. Uh, you know, Valkyrie's actually looking... You know, as you said earlier, you know, definitely having some some schnasty, uh like players and opportunities going on over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I would not sleep on Valkyries because they did not take this series, and there's still a chance that they take Havana and look very convincing with it because while KD has managed to win two maps, they did like Valkyries fought them to a draw on Anubis and. Even KD's wins have come very close. You know, I just noticed the boy, mm. the young boy Zany. Is oh, in. Zany's in. Zany in. Let's go. Zany in on DPS too, which I don't think I've seen. Um, I've heard him ask for it a lot, but I, I don't think I've seen <laughs> it yet. No, I uh, I'm interested and and. Our dear Maggie, uh, Magdragon, is in on the support line as well. Interesting, interesting. Love to see it. But are we no swaps from Vox, or... Are we just now getting swaps from Vox? The... The... Grill Mag support line so far has been very fun to watch, uh, just from the few times I've gotten to see it. Um, both in our match against KD and tonight when they played it on Ilios. 
and the synergy between Super Ninja's Farah and Nagi's Mercy. It's it's very spooky over there. That that bottom half of KD's roster synergy is through the roof. No, I agree. Um, it's very nice. This is very nice. Grill is very strong as like their own support when Mag Dragon has to play the Mercy to like pocket Super Ninja. Uh, Grill is able to kind of hold down the ground war by themselves, which is really really like really good. Really hard to do as a support player to kind of manage four members of your team, like yourself included, and not let them die. Also really good multitasking from Mag Dragon to not only focus Super Ninja and keep bouncing around between players on the team. Uh, Book of Sorrows too though, uh, tonight. This, uh, speaking of support lines, Book of Sorrows been very solid on pretty much everything they've played. Um, quite a few fights on Anubis specifically they stood out to me on with the uh, BAP and the Immortality Fields saving so many lives and also just creating space as a Baptiste player. Not something you see very often, but they did a pretty good job at effectively saying we're going to be here, you guys are not allowed to stand in this space because I have made us all invincible. <laughs> Not necessarily one, using the right field for the save. KD are winning. We're playing for map diff. <laughs> we are indeed. Hydra and the miracle of same colored uh, teams has baited, <laughs> baited blood into starting. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky. It was bound to happen at some gonna... point. Well, he only said, you know, ready about 23 times. Ready <laughs> for battle. Hydra locks the widow instantly. <laughs> uh -uh. Unfortunately, I don't believe Zany to be a widow player. Um, no, that's totally going to be Super Ninja's department here. Exactly. For the... <laughs> but all the same. If, if we could see Hydra just... Ideally, it would be the walk out of spawn yeah, and go I was gonna Zany. Say. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah. If if Zany just... walks out of spawn and then Hydra gets the dome immediately as the first pick of the map, I'm I'm going to clip it and I'm going to put it in the Stardust Crusader server and pin it to Sam somewhere. I was going to say, and it's getting. <laughs> <laughs> We're making a Hall of Fame tonight, you know? Like, Hall of Fame. Hall Hydra, of fame. do it. Please. You don't know how badly I need this. <laughs> okay, okay. We see Zany on the flank currently. Uh, I do like the Ryan Sig that's coming out of KD so far here. Pookie going up, trying to get some deflect damage in. Not quite gonna find it. The shield for Bo is broken right now, but uh, the shields on the side of KD also not looking so hot. Seeing a tank line mirror for the most part here. Johnny for the most part is the exact mirror. Um, Crossfire playing pretty aggressive here, keeping them at bay. Unfortunately, it's gonna cost him a shield, and Crossfire is gonna be forced to back off a little bit here. Pookie dashing up, trying to take away the positional advantage of the high round there, but everybody's able to back off pretty cleanly here. Nobody from KD is, well, except for Super Ninja just now, out of position. But they they answer back with a kill onto Hydra, but Pookie, in the attempt that Mag Dragon made the red, Super Ninja finds Mag Dragon. And then Beagle with another fire strike kill there on the crossfire. That's gonna open this wide up for them, and looks like they're gonna take A. <laughs> that was a pretty smooth attack. Um, that defense is just so difficult. Uh, this double shield comp, like Reinhardt, is very much a, a timer. Um, you can't shoot back while he's holding shield, so it's like it's very literally waiting for your DPS to do something. Uh, and they. You know, only 54% to his first ultimate. Really wasn't ever able to get into a position to make something happen. Um, and Super Ninja, you know, not really finding anything until late in that And Blade coming out here. Uh, gets smacked with a rock, though, but still has the dash. Manages to get a swift strike in on the Mag Dragon, weaken them up enough to get the final four from Bo. But the Nano Shadow comes through and finds four! Crossfire going in with the help of Zucker Beast, gets slept though, and Beagle with a charge kill on the Zucker Beast, but now is way out of position and anti slept and then swung at. 
And the stabilization uh, out of KD is here. It's gonna be really hard for KD to hold with this uh, this tank line here. Yeah. Reinhardt's kind of out of position all the time forever, and then that's unfortunate. You're not you don't get that one back. Oh, Magduck is oh, going yeah. for it. The Pookie's out there. Uh, Pookie we were talking yep. About this body camping characters and uh, a Pookie woke up this map. We saw glimpses of it on Anubis, but like. Double kill. Buki came to play this time. <laughs> no, that was an excellent res punch. Um, and he's like... Oh, no, Hydra has Hydra. gone over to the spawn. <laughs> Here comes Zany with the fade. Oh. Shuts down Hydra. I wanted it, but it didn't happen. <laughs> no, if he had gotten the 3k headshot with the monitor, point blank on Zany. Huge shatter coming out again! Pretty much gonna shut the fight down. One fire strike takes out the support line. And now Hydra has said both of the DPS will go. No, uh, the only complaint you can make there is they weren't pushing the cart at all. But on the other hand, that means we get more Hydra with time. So, you know. We do see uh, Super Ninja swapped to every different hit skin you can think of at this point, except for Soldier. Uh, oh, that window. Mm -hmm. Hydra getting the pick on the Super Ninja again. It's gonna get rezzed up by Mag Dragon, but Hydra is just dominating in this hit scan war now. Suki gets the nano using the blade, finds Krill. Hydra finds the insta headshot on the ultimate Zany boy. Really nice bubble there from the Kirby's under themselves. Gonna keep themselves alive, but. Hydra on the high ground. Zany Boy has to swap over to the tracer. Shuts him down finally. This will heal you. Good dynamite finding two, and it's on the immortality. The immortality field is gonna expire. Bo shutting down Zany Boy with a punch though. Super Ninja is the only one kind of available to touch here. Grill able to find the way onto the point. Crossfire is there as well. KD almost with a full regroup. The shatter coming through from Beagle. They're gonna get the pin kill on the Mag Dragon! And because of the Shatter, they find Super Ninja, but Grill using the Coalescence finds Spooky. That might be what you need, that's most of their close quarters damage. But now you just have Beagle, who has officially ditched the shield and is going all swing. That's a really big nano charge right there, taking Crossfire completely out of the fight immediately. Bob being tossed in though, gonna buy them some space, but most of Valkyries are already grouped back up. They're ready to take another fight. KD is not at the moment. No, um, KD is kind of getting in this position now where the you're fully healed. The, the uh, is any going really deep here? And until you can like break in and get Hydra to the high ground, like his ability to make an impact on this fight is definitely less than KD. Unfortunately for KD, Zuckerbees is kind of nowhere for them. Just now shows back up on the bridge and does take out Hydra, that's a pretty high value pick. And Mag Dragon with the res on the grill is gonna put KD in a really good looking position here, even with the loss of crossfire from the uh Flux and the anti Zuckabees finding another pick out there on the bridge, getting rid of spooky memes. KD kind of getting a nice stabilization going here, making it really hard for Valkyries to push in at all. Zany Boy and Zuckerbees have just been out on this bridge now harassing the backline of Valkyries. They're finally punishing Valkyries for taking this sort of like let the tanks and one DPS push in while we leave a range support and a DPS out the back. No, 
Bless is being used to just force other ults out. But the shatter is huge, it finds both the tanks, crossfires, Diva gets pinned into the wall from the nano mines. Not gonna get the DMAX though, and Zuckerbees using the spin the win tactic for just a moment. But a Helix Rocket combo with the punch takes out Grill. Gets rezzed up by Mag Dragon, just barely finds that res. All of a sudden, we saw what looked to be a two and a half minute time bank cap for Valkyries turn into what could potentially turn into an overtime turn if they get it. Yeah, turning it in is certainly not a Fortnite uh, uh, uh Hyper goes down, that's their only immediately available ultimate. The bomb coming out. Uh, it's gonna oh, it almost got the Kasaros, but they got under the shield just in time. But Pookie finding a just raw kill on the grill and then on the super ninja for the follow-up. Things are looking really good for Valkyries right now. Hydra coming back with the visor, putting a lot of pressure down. Vigo, Vigo punishing Crossfire for staying in the back line there as Baby Diva. Zandy's back though on this tracer, on the point. But those mines are gonna do the job for them. Zany almost brought that back on the pulse bomb, but it's just unfortunately not enough because of those mines. Score. Zero. So we do see the overtime capture. Uh and what a map this has been. Initiating match. It seemed Ooh. to, like, KD had a pretty... They had a shaky start on A, but they were finding their footing. It was unfortunate that they lost Super Ninja and Mag Dragon when uh, she went for the res there. That kind of offset the balance that KD had barely managed to find, and it kind of led into a point A snowball that led into the first half of B snowball. But once they finally kind of got slow pushed all the way back to the castle, once they ended up in the castle, that was when it seemed like they finally got a real handle of what Valkyries were running and finally just started putting the brakes on them. But Valkyries did a really good job of managing to constantly keep sweeping the feet out from under Cosmic Dawn and making sure that they weren't getting the stabilization that they wanted off of key early picks. Absolutely. Um, it was it was really hard fought on both sides, uh, with just some Five, really fantastic four, punishes three, on the sides two, of Valkyrie. One. But like Attackers the, the stalwart defense of KD just proved to be not quite enough, but enough to boil that time bank all the way. So we're going to see a true double shield come out from the side of Valkyries here. And an early pick on the Super Ninja is going to make this push really hard. Oh. And on the Zany Boy, there is no damage left on the side of Cosmic Dawn. Really good pick here from Valkyries. A huge anti-nade though. It's going to force Valkyries to be a little bit slower in their push. Crossfire getting stuck on the cart with their charge. That actually might cost them their lives. They're not careful. Good block on the anti-nade from Crossfire. They lose their shield. Valkyries are just putting on the pressure right now with this, uh, whatever. They're basically they're waiting for Zany to get back into a position where he can contest Hyper. Um, yep. that's their plan. Pookie's in their team, like in KD right now. And Super Ninja finds the shutdown, but unfortunately for KD, Hydra shuts down Zuckerbees. Which is probably the, like, by far the bigger trade value there, but... Is we'll find space. Yes. And Kate, when Katie has space, they can do some scary things. Very true. And they do have respawn advantage. They'll yeah, get Zucker uh, Bees back quicker than Falcon uh, Bees. back. Zany went after Hydra, but unfortunately walks into a trap. And into finding the final blow on the Hydra, but they lost Will as well. And now Crossfire. Mag Dragon are alone on the point together. Crossfire is anti, so Mag Dragon can't even really do anything for him anymore. I don't know if Mag Dragon has her fade. Kind of got hung out from Fry there. Did you see Hydra swapping over to that edge uh, to provide more mid fight value? Um, which is a swap I like, uh, especially as you round this corner and are no longer holding the super long sight line. 
Yo, know, teams are gonna push right where KD is pushing. You can sit on the high ground and you can provide a lot of dynamite versus. Oh, giving the nano before they go down, but the Gravitic Flux coming through, able to find the Fire Strike kill the Luxaurus, and the charge coming through, finding two now, Crossfire keeping this fight alive, Super Ninja finding the pick on the Spooky who just used their uh, window to try and keep the fight alive, but it's not gonna happen. Even with the ult fight back from Valkyries, Crossfire and Super Ninja able to answer back with the most critical kills they could find. Crossfire actually managing to cancel Supercharger. Yep. Arissa started the voice line and it never came down. Like, that is just insanely tight timing. And I don't, I don't think they would claim to tell you. No. Just the, the, how tight that was. That was a really unfortunate set of events for. Uh, I believe it was Beagle on the Orisa. Yeah. Um, they had also just used gold to avoid the shatter of the first place. Nano going out on the Beagle, but uh, Crossfire is going to bring them all the way back to their team. And Danny Boy's Dragon Blade finding two. Pookie tried to do the same back, but uh, only going to find Crossfire. He's going to get rezzed up by Mag Dragon here. The, the tempo is now very solidly in favor of KD, I would argue. Uh, they have uh, everybody yeah. up. If they can find this position, you know, Zane is going to farm a bunch of reflex damage. KD right. is in trouble right here, though. Well, Beagle getting shattered and anti, but unfortunately, almost the same thing happening to Crossfire, taking them back out of the fight. Super Ninja with the visor and the pocket gets rushed down by Pookie, but. Uh, Zuckerby doesn't care about the flex. Beams don't care. <laughs> no. Uh, was... Things back and forth right now, favoring now Valkyries with the spawn advantage and the numbers. Just Mag Dragon and Zuckerby to learn on point together. Both get taken out pretty simultaneously there, and that's gonna force KD out. Valkyries clutching out that fight when they were both ult down and numbered down. Real put in a really precarious position. Obviously, the initial plan was to fight this upper room um, with Nano Ryan, you know, the, the shatter, whatever. But what turned out to happen was that failed. Uh, Bullock dropped down the Beagle, or no, excuse me, Beagle dropped down and actually separated the Bullock from standing on the stairs. We need Book and uh, Bo to come out and just uh, Super Ninja baiting out the visor from Hydra here, and now Zany Boy's deflecting most of it. Does go down to it, unfortunately, after trying to switch strike aggressively to just shut it down outright. I don't believe a res is going to be used for that. Super Ninja's in trouble again. Uh, Hydra coming down and taking him out as well. Losing both your DPS there might take you out of the fight. Grill did get a pretty fat anti onto members of Valkyries, but I don't think it's gonna amount to enough to flip the fight for them. Crossfire's kind of out of position right now. A lot of the team outside in the alley. Crossfire's the only one inside the building right now. Mag Dragon does come in, but now Mag Dragon's out of position. Yeah. <laughs> over here on the left side of the Spooky with the grab or the dragon. I think it was supposed to be a grab dragon, but the grab didn't find anything. Spooky finding three with their blades. Zany finding two. But uh, the trades are overall going to favor Valkyries. No. I'm up. Hello. Hydra going for another uh, kill up on the soldier duel. Hydra really kind of man loading the, the soldier duel. He can take yeah. Literally no, like, he can be standing in his healing field and I don't care. He has a Zarya bubble still, you know. Yeah. And he's Another grab being used here to lock in place KD. Crossfire's just gonna send the charge in looking for something big here. Beagle gets anti Can they find the kill on them? Not quite yet. Crossfire is all alone and anti Stuck to be seeing everything they can for them. The Hydra with the attack visor up on the high ground behind them. Gonna do so much damage finding the support line. And Super Ninja again! <laughs> Unfortunately, Zuckerbees was the last one to touch the team kill horn is sounded, and that will be Havana going to Valkyries. That was a fun match, peeps. I, I yeah. just... 
That was lots of fun. Let's let's watch Pookie pick up another like I don't know, 4K, 5K, something like that. Oh no, this was the punish. Yep, this was what swung B their way to begin with. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> crazy. I see you. Oh, deflect grab. Do says, so uh, yeah, that, oh. that, uh, I thought they were going for grab dragon, but it occurred to me when, uh, Bo just chucked a grab at them one fight later, that that was a deflected grab that was, uh, probably attempted to be a flashy, I'll get my own grab dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heckies, oh, heckies. Stonks up. Indeed. And Valkyrie's uh, in their sort of first game of the season after their bye week. Still looking really strong. They may not take the series, but they're definitely not to be taken lightly. I agree. Um, we need some captain's nominations. Mm -hmm. but lead with me. Tell me what you're thinking to start with. Um, I think... As far as the tank line goes, I'm pretty sold on Crossfire. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot consistently of... a really, really strong main tank, one of the best of the night, and then also just like the Diva performance alone could have sold me on giving them MVP. Uh, pretty much every time I... they went to Diva, they were a fight changer. No, I, I would agree. I think Crossfire is a pretty strong contestant there. Um... Oh. T t We'll, we'll see what the other team, what the captains say, but I, I tend to agree. Mm -hmm. For DPS, um, any any large or small thoughts? Um, DPS. I mean, obviously there there's a lot more players on the DPS line than you see in the tank lines generally, so it's it's really hard to say any one person like outright trumped everybody else. Uh, I mean. I could easily make arguments for Pookie, I could make an argument for Hydra, I could make an argument for Super Ninja, Silent Tamer, Antipo, like all those players immediately stand out as like really big, as Death did really really well. No, I I tend to agree. I like everybody there's... had MVP worthy performances, it's just about kind of dissecting which one had the MVP performance. <laughs> Zany in the match chat asking Spooky and Bo if he want to play comp now. You know. <laughs> Help me with my SR, boys. Help me with my SR. You just... I know we beat you, but... Come on. I, I do think uh, if I'm leaning towards anybody for DPS, it's kind of between Super Ninja and Pookie for me. Really? Mm -hmm. Unless you uh, you want to raise a point and remind my very, very old brain with no memory of something that I clearly forgot that I shouldn't have. So, my, my... Pookie popped. I, I think, you know, certainly he had a strong performance. Um, mm -hmm. He did also have some some less than stellar uh, uh, periods, but I think that's pretty valid. I think Super Ninja um, overall played very good, but I also did feel like uh, off of there that was... that Fara, it was a little less. Yeah, I was going to say the the Soldier War on Havana definitely leaned uh, Hydra's way. And and I was actually going to uh, throw Hydra in the ring as an MVP candidate as well. Um, you know, you go back to I can I'm say no to that. Yeah. Hydra doing Hydra things. Uh, actually, Pixelator, uh, Captain Sam's coming in, he actually suggests Hydra as MVP um, from the enemy team, and Book of Sorrows as well. Uh, yeah, we hadn't talked support yet, but I was going to throw Book of Sorrows out there. Um, Book of Sorrows. My biggest complaint um, was I felt like they had some, some iffy positioning, uh, and I didn't love their immortality field usage, but overall, uh, generally very solid. 
Anubis, yeah. their immortality field usage was pretty clean, in my opinion. But I, I do think, like, if you were seeing stuff uh, on other maps that I was not catching... Um, they were... You they were using it at times where I felt like um, it was not when you use a cooldown that has 30 seconds on it. Yeah, you generally want to get the most value out of it because you're not going to have it for the next 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah it's not like, like they were using it to try and get out at times and they were getting out and it's fine but mm -hmm. they were you know, then wanting it sooner than the 30 seconds or 20 seconds, yeah. maybe, 25, whatever. Um, but no, I don't think that is a terribly unlikely option. Um, um, from Rav, we have Super Ninja and Cross nominated. Uh, you know, we're, we're very much on board with the Cross. No shock. No shock there. Yeah. Um, Super Ninja, a pretty viable candidate as well. Uh Super Ninja on Ilios and Eichenwald was a mess, because um, Point C was basically their entire, their hold was like Super Ninja going crazy on Soldier, and then their uh, their attack was Super Ninja going crazy on Ash on C, yeah, on both sides. Out. Um, what do you think of supports from Cosmic Dawn? Uh um, Grill looked really good all evening. I felt. Yes, Grill was very like consistently great. Um, Mag Dragon did well as well. Uh, Dylan had a few standout moments. Um, oh, I... Cosmic Dawn's support line is just really, really strong in general. There's there's nothing bad on the Cosmic Dawn support line. Like those are all right. Uh, you you never have a. Whew, this seems suboptimal, you know, for lack yeah. of a better term. Um, I would just say you, know, you swap around your strengths, basically. Yeah, I I do think the duo I I liked the most tonight was probably the Grill Mag duo. I would agree. Um, not to say that other duos weren't strong, just I think that was the one that looked the strongest tonight. That was their their Ilios line up too I I agree with that um, I thought that was a really strong combo there were times where Grill and Mag Dragon alone those the two of them were like they could end up in a 2v4 and they'd actually make the fight look winnable still <laughs> they would I mean heck I, I, there was a moment Dr. Grill hitting like bank shot on a nades with, yeah. you know from the from the paint downtown like just <laughs> oh, it was, it was really, really, really nice. Um, especially mm -hmm. they actually they did it on the Havana once. They were on the low ground, and they went over uh, Beagle's shield off the wall behind them to you know douse the enemy team with purple, and it was like ah, yep. beautiful, beautiful. Oh, so you know, let's give me give me your three and blood. Please feel free to chime in. Uh, yeah, you know. Um, give, give us your words. So, I personally think it would be Crossfire, Pokey, and Mag Dragon. Those are my three. That's that's, that's, that's a... where my original three were leading. I would have said Crossfire, Hydra. Probably Doctor Grill, but I I would not be opposed to Mag Dragon either. Like mm -hmm. you know, kind of goes back to you see it all over the place. Um. <laughs> uh, I'm I like the Crossfire Mag Dragon. I originally was thinking Super Ninja, but I I did start leaning more towards uh, Hydra. Um as we kind of talked about it, but... Ah, this one, this is a toughie. I don't... Uh... This is. Both these teams played spectacularly tonight, it's, and even then, like, the duos on their team make it really hard, too, because it's not like one person stood out on each team. It was more like each duo on each team performed really well. They did. Um... 
you know, heck, you know, we give the the quick sh- shout out to our, the young Zany, you know, making the tracer <laughs> look pretty, pretty, pretty clean. Yeah, uh, the tracer swap on Havana actually did pay a lot of dividends for them. Gave them a really not, good fighting chance. Not MVP tier work, but I, you know, no. absolutely looked very clean. Um, <laughs> ooh, heck, heck, heck. Heckies, heckies, heckies. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Flood's busy talking about cosplay and match chat, no? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what, have we decided? <laughs> um, I think we're, we're locked in on... There's You and I agree on, on our tank and support, and I don't think any of us have agreed on a single DPS yet now. <laughs> I'm leaning a little more towards Hydra over Pookie, which is that I think I do agree with on Crypto. But I don't think all three of us have solidly agreed on on a, on a set three yet. So Crypto's going with uh, who? Hydra. My, my pick's Hydra. Like Hydra, okay. the Hydra hit scan. Yeah, I, I can get behind the Hydra. Was dirty. Um. The Pookie, dra- the Pookie Dragon I mean, it's 2-1, so... I mean, you're going with the uh, Hydra too, right, Uravity? Yeah, I think so. I was leading Pookie at the very start, then I kind of went to Super Ninja, and now I'm kind of at Hydra. It was really... It was good all around. Um, yeah. The honorable mentions for Shizzle to to both those guys. Mm-hmm. Um, to uh, Pokey being... and uh, Super Ninja, right? Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. God, we're never gonna hear the end of Hydra. <laughs> oh yeah, no. God damn it! Yeah, you guys gave it to him, and I specifically said not to him. Uh, I well, mean, when he watches it back, he about can... it. He's gonna hear it, even if we don't give it to Hydra. He's gonna watch it back and be like, "Man, they had a really hard time not picking." <laughs> oh. Um. I <laughs> you didn't tag Hydra. <laughs> it didn't tag her. No. <laughs> no, you see the at, right? You see the at. Yo. There we go. I'll, I'll get the boy. Oh shoot! Well, everybody, thank you for coming. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this last two hours of riveting Overwatch. Um, mm-hmm. And I hope you'll be back. I think there are there is there another game going on tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Let me check. Let me check. Tomorrow evening. I think this is the last game of the week, actually. Um, yes, it is. So, thank you all uh, for another week of the Overwatch Oasis. Currently, our next scheduled game will be Thursday, December 10th. Uh, INH, I Need Healing versus Tater Tots. Uh, it will probably be on the main channel. Um, and Tantalizers versus Stardust Crusaders, also play at that same 7 p.m. CST, 8 EST time slot. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll probably see Dr. Grill from this game uh, commentating along with Mr. Game and Kirby uh, with Tance, and then Kitty and BX Hunter also uh, from this game. Both of them will be commentating the Tance vs. Stardust Crusaders. So we'll hope to see you there. Uh, I'll be in chat. Rooting for my my team, the Stardust Crusaders, and your avid will be playing. So, mm-hmm. be there or be square. Do you guys have anything else you want to say before we're done for this evening? Um, yeah. crazy series, fun to watch, fun to commentate. Uh, thank you, Crypto. Thank you, Bloods, for making this happen. Indeed. Thank you guys for commentating. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>